Now on Local 5, Foxconn representatives visit the area as they try to recruit new talent. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Tom Zalaski. And I'm Erin Davison. Foxconn recruiters were in Green Bay today looking for potential employees. And as Chris Schuler reports, while the company is controversial, many hope that this business will remain in Wisconsin for a long time. At NWTC, people like Brenda Thompson gathered an interview with recruiters from Foxconn, the Taiwan-based electronics manufacturer building a new plant in Racine County. Kind of heard of the company up and coming in the area and thought it would be a great experience and um, see what, what could happen. In 2017, Foxconn announced it would build a facility in southeast Wisconsin, investing $10 billion, creating 13,000 jobs. That plant's expected to open next year, and Dr. Jeff Raffin from NWTC says this job fair is all part of the process. They're going to be a major employer, and I know they, they have their critics, but they're going to be a major employer. In 2018, Foxconn said it would also open up innovation centers around the state and, in fact, purchase the Watermark building in downtown Green Bay. We've had conversations with them about how they'll use the building and what our part can be in that. The building expected to house 200 Foxconn employees, but so far it's just empty space. Look, it's no surprise that people come in with aggressive timelines and sometimes projects take longer than anticipated. Fox says while the process appears drawn out, his Foxconn contacts say the center is still a go. They've still said that they would like to move forward with the project here and we'll be ready when, when they are. It's an expectation that brought all these job seekers to the college. The belief that Foxconn is here for the long term. I really truly really think it's promising. Reporting in Green Bay, Chris Schuler, <laughs> Local 5 News. Now we tried to speak with Foxconn officials at NWTC about that innovation center and about the job fair, but they declined our requests. Wisconsin promised billions in tax incentives to Foxconn to build in the state. 